Hey guys, this is Shane from the River Paddlers. So today I want to show you how I make my camp toilet. So this is a pretty exciting conversation today. Um, when I made this one, it was very imprecise in how I made it. Uh, so this time I figured out the measurements and what kind of will work better after learning um, from making this one. I've used this one a couple years, but I do want to say on this one, camp toilet that I've used it has snapped once however the reason it snapped the reason it snapped is is because when I was connecting it one time it was connected like that and when I sat on it that caused it to snap so basically it's simple I cut a hole in it burn the edges and then from there pretty much have a camp toilet uh, which you can use for backpacking or what I use it for is kayak camping. Moving along here, I got Shine Trip Simple Folding Stole Extra Large. So this comes in different sizes. This is the biggest one. So you can even buy ones that are smaller than this. Uh, this particular one, I think holds, I wanna say 300 pounds or something like that. In the description of this video, I will include a link to this chair on Amazon. Right, so this is just a very simple folding chair here. So now we got this chair together. It's pretty simple to put together. It just snaps in place. Just make sure it's all the way in place. Um, that's how I broke my other one is because it wasn't locked down all the way. All right, so, um, so the idea is to make a toilet out of this, right? Um, so in doing that, you need to leave enough fabric along the outside of it to make sure the structure and the integrity of the strength is still there, even when using it. So things you're going to need, a tape measure, or you can do it by hand. Uh, the first one I made, I did it by hand. A lighter, a Sharpie, something that will write on this and a pocket knife. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna mark on here so what I'm gonna do is from the edge so that's the edge and then the edge of where the chair is connected to the uh, leg of it if you will I'm gonna mark two and a half inches from the edge all the way around and that's what I'm gonna cut all right so after looking at my other chair I'm gonna do two and a half inches from the long edge side and I'm gonna do two inches from the thinner edge so I'm gonna do two inches from the seam to here So now I have my dots on here uh, for my two and a half inches from this side and two inches from this side. I'm just going to sort of uh, roughly connect it together so I kind of know where to cut. All right, so this might be kind of hard to see on this camera. I'm not really sure. I marked the corners with my Sharpie right there. So these are the corners of what I'm gonna cut here. So with this pocket knife, and it cuts pretty easily, uh, you wanna be careful not to mess up too badly because 
Obviously, you're cutting it with a knife, so if you mess up, it's permanent. All right, so that's cut. There's also a net under this, because uh, this is a stole that's um, designed to be able to just hold stuff in that, which is pretty neat, actually. I'm going to cut that net off next. And it's just got four places it connects. Uh, I believe that's it, and it's you can just cut it right off. You can repurpose that for something if you want. Uh, so I'll probably keep it in case I want it for something in the future. So now it's all great that this is cut to how I want it. Um, and it looks pretty good, but I can guarantee you the integrity of the strength around these edges is not gonna be there because I just cut the fabric. Um, so how to get that integrity back is to burn the edges. So that's what I'm gonna do. it's going to want to keep burning so you want to make sure you blow that out so there we have it so that is the camp chair uh, so with this if you want to add a bag in here when you do your business you can absolutely do that um, and what I really like about this and the reason that I did this is so this is my old toilet I just want to show this and what I really don't like about this is it's just kind of bulky it's kind of big it doesn't fit in the kayak uh, if you were backpacking this wouldn't be good to take it's kind of heavy uh, so there's just a lot of things about this that I really just don't like all right so that is the reason that is the reason that I came up with a solution, um, a more lightweight solution. All right, so what's really cool about this is how you can pack it up in the kayak or if you're backpacking. So it's super easy to come apart and it just kind of twists there and then it has this strap do not cut this strap off because this strap is good to use still to keep it in place and then with this 
comes a handy little bag. I keep it in the bag. So I have the bag. And I also use one of these fabric -y dry bags. And I put the toilet in the dry bag. So when I pack this away in the kayak, um, the way that it's shaped and it's not heavy, it fits in like crevices in the kayak really nicely. Um, so much better than trying to pack this dang thing in the kayak. Um, much better. So, and you don't have to put it in a dry bag. I, it's just something I started doing uh, just because I wanted to kind of keep it dry. And I, what I will say is these fabric -y kind of dry bags, I honestly don't think they're that good. I don't think they work that good. Um, but they are good because they can conform with the shape of whatever you're putting in it and uh, doesn't really take up any more space. So uh, that's why I use this dry bag for this. Uh, so anyway, this is how I make my toilet for uh, kayaking or for backpacking. And I hope this helps. So I, I just cleaned up. There's just a couple things I want to mention. So it, uh, this stole cost between $20 and $30, depending which one you purchase. The one I purchased was right around $30, maybe a little under $30. And uh, the reason I got that one is because it's a little taller off the ground and it also has a 300 pound weight capacity, which is pretty good weight capacity. Because um, you, you don't want to be doing your business and then you just, you know, you fall in it. That's not going to be uh, really... Uh, uh, too pleasurable of an experience for you.